Welcome to this video on how to create a presentation in Prezi using their pre-made templates. Previously I made a presentation on how to create a Prezi presentation from scratch and I highly recommend that you watch that because it teaches you the basics of using Prezi. In this particular video I'm not going to focus on the basics at all. Instead I'm just going to focus on using their pre-made templates. So here at Prezi.com, I'm going to assume you have an account and that you've signed in, logged into the account. If you don't know how to do that, please watch the other video. So here I am in my Prezi account, and I'm just going to go down and click New Prezi. And unlike in my other video, this time I'm going to utilize the pre-made templates that Prezi provides. You can see here that these are some of the more popular templates that they have created. Here at the center are the recent, latest templates that they've made, Okay, and there's only like 10 or 15 of them. But you can also click More, and there you get pretty much the whole list of pre-made templates that are available right now from Prezi. If you know one by, by its name, you could just click here where it says Search for Templates, and you could type it in, and um, it would identify the one that you want to use. Okay, so I would like to use one that uh, has a theme of a journey. Okay, I want to teach my students a concept that uh, involves traveling and progressing from one step to another, from one point to another. And you can see when I typed in journey, it brought up several different options. There's timelines, there's kind of two-dimensional journeys. Um, this one is a kind of a three-dimensional one, and I like that a lot. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that. So I'm going to click the road ahead, and then I could click use template, or honestly, it's best just to just double click on it, and it highlights it, it selects it, and it loads it in. Now the nice thing about using pre-made templates in Prezi is it does at least, I'd say, 50% of the work for you. Notice here at the left, I already have my zooms for my presentation. I've got zoom 1, zoom 2, 3, and it's all just laid out for me. It's really nice. And so all I have to do at this point is click and add a title. Okay, I can click to add text. Maybe I could put in my name as the author of the presentation, or I could put in a subtitle, and then I'm done with that first zoom. Then I can click on the second zoom. This one is just an overview of the whole process. And then I can click on the third zoom, click to add text. And this is, in my opinion, a lot more like using PowerPoint. If you choose a pre-made template in Prezi, it's pretty much saying that you want to quickly develop your presentation. You don't want to have to take the time to think about how you're going to lay out the content, you know, what shape it's going to be in, uh, where are where's the information going to go. You don't want to have to deal with that. You just want to use somebody else's template and then you're just going to click down this list here at the left to add the content that you want to share with the students. Okay, And it's just as simple as clicking to the next Zoom, adding your information, and going from there. Now, just like I uh, showed in the other video, which I hope you'll watch, there is this Edit Path button that you can use to reorder some of these, these items. Okay, you can click on it, you can click and drag to, to change those. You can add animations by clicking this star, so I can animate the text, okay? But um, if you watched the other presentation, you understand all that and much more. When you're done editing path, you can click done here at the top. And to be honest with you, there's not a whole lot more about using the pre-made templates that you need to know, uh, other than what I've just told you. You would just continue to go through each of these zooms and edit if you want to add images or videos you can do that here with the insert option and then when you're done editing each of the zooms let's say let's say you run out of zooms and you have even more content that you would like to share that's okay you can zoom in if you want and add another frame whether it's an invisible frame or you could switch to another kind of frame or you don't have to zoom in again if you don't want to you could you know scoot over to the left or the right or above and then add another frame and notice that it, it just keeps adding these to uh, the end of my presentation. And so then I could click to add uh, another title. And so my point is, even though you're using someone else's pre-made template that Prezi provides to you, you're not stuck just with what they, what they have delivered to you. You can add more zooms, more content, and really the sky's the limit uh, of what you can do here. You can add so much information onto just one Prezi. It's, it's amazing. Okay, so let's assume that you have edited each of the slides, you've added content maybe that you wanted to add, you've maybe inserted some pictures, videos, some other things, um, you're ready to present. You can do that just by clicking present. 
it should go back to the beginning of your presentation. If it doesn't, you know, you can use these arrow keys to go back to the beginning or the arrow keys on your keyboard. Notice that when you do go to present, it'll often ask this question. Do you want to allow full screen with keyboard controls? Yes, I do. I allow it. And then I can present this just using the arrow keys on the keyboard or spacebar. Both of those options work. And you can also use presenter remotes. If you have a presenter remote, it should work great. And I really like this particular one because it has, you know, kind of a 3D effect where you're traveling down the road and uh, going to the destination that you've created there. So I tapped escape to get out of that. And that's really all that there is to using someone else's pre-made template. If you want to learn how to make your own effects that are kind of like this that have almost a 3D effect to them. Check out my other video. I have a video on 3D options in Prezi that goes over all of that, so I hope you'll watch that. Thanks for watching this video and I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on technology for teachers and students.